Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on with my Geminis. Your current energy, energy of the person, people, situations surrounding you and overall outcome. Um, keep in mind, of course, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, that's okay. Feel free to check out your other placements. But if you do enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Gemini, first card that wanted to fly out was the Three of Pentacles. So Pentacles energy could be dealing with an Earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this is all about really working hard towards something. I feel like you guys are very, very focused on your career, on your finances, on building something for the future. We'll see what other cards want to come out in a second. But this is really that energy of combining skills with people around you to really build something amazing. Some of you could actually physically be building something. So there may be, um, you know, a building, a house. You could work, um, you know, in a field to do with like construction or something like that. Um, or you could actually be seeing, you know, now the physical manifestation of a project. It's all coming together in the physical world. And yeah, you're, you're combining your skills with someone or with people to build that. Um, this could be also... I feel as though you are maybe gaining some kind of respect, admiration um, for your unique skills and for the hard work that you've been putting in. So there could be some sort of recognition um, coming when it comes to career finances or something that you've been working on. You're about to get recognition for that. People are looking up to you and really admiring what you bring to the table. They're really looking at your skills and yeah, they're seeing they're seeing you in a very positive light, Gemini. But you're very focused. You're very focused on something at the moment. There's a project. There's something that's in the works that you are very very focused on. I feel like it's taking up a lot of your time, a lot of your mental energy. And who knows? It may even be at the expense of something else. There may be something else in your life that you're not able to put as much focus on um, as you would like at the moment. And it could be because you're just so, there's something that is really taking up a lot of your mental energy, time, effort. We've got the hangman here. So um, for some of you, again, yeah, maybe it is time to take a bit of a pause, take a bit of a time out because of the fact that this thing, whatever it is, it could be a person as well. It could be a relationship, but um, it could be yeah, something that you're very focused on, that you're very dedicated to. Um, you're maybe letting it take a little bit too much um, of a focus in your life. Like you're, you're spending too much time um, mentally, physically on this project, on this person, on this thing, whatever it is. You're spending a lot of time on that. And it may be time to say, you know what, maybe I need to step back. Maybe I need to gain a little bit of a different perspective on something. Maybe there's a better way of working on something. Maybe there's going to be a more efficient way um, or a way that allows me to do all the things that I want to do instead of focusing on this one thing that's taking up way too much of my time. So this is really that energy of you're working hard towards something, but at the same time, it may be time to take a little bit of a step back. Make sure you're looking after yourself as well. Make sure you're not um, focusing on something to the point where you're not focusing on just basic things that you need to do in your day-to-day -day life, like getting enough sleep, exercise, eating well, just the basic things that, you know, keep you going and make you feel good and well-rested and happy. Just make sure you're not completely neglecting those things. Um, it may be time to pull back and just reprioritize a little bit and think about your day-to-day -day life, your routine, how, you know, how each day is structured and how you can get time for doing the other things that you want to do. What is going on around you? What else is going on? Okay. There's actually um, there's actually a lot going on around you, Gemini. I feel like for some of you, we've got water energy here with the Seven of Cups, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we've got fixed sign energy here with the world. Um. For some of you, 
there are a lot of options around you. And there may even be someone around you who is wanting more of your time, wanting more of your energy, your um, commitment. And you're not sure if you're ready to commit fully to something because there's a lot that you want to do. There's a lot that you want to get done. There are more things that you want to work on. Um, commitment is a little bit difficult, but I'm getting the sense that a make or break point is coming. And that could be either with you, that could be with another person that you're dealing with. For some of you, it could be work related. It could be finance related. Like there's a make or break point in, you know, a particular career path that you're on, or there's a company that you might need to um, move on from or something like that. But I feel like there's this, um, there's this sense that it, it can't continue the way it has been. It can't continue the way it has been. In some ways, you're not 100% satisfied. And in some ways, the person who you're dealing with, the situation you're dealing with, um, they're not completely satisfied either because there is a bit of emotional confusion going on here. For some of you, it could be that you've spent so much time focusing on one thing, it's been... Um, at the expense of your emotions, um, your romantic life, a partner, someone who is interested in you and you haven't been able to focus on it. For some of you, there are a lot of um, opportunities around you, a lot of romantic interests, and you're actually not seeing that because you've been somewhat closed off to it. But for others of you, there is someone who you're dealing with and it's it's going to be make or break. And that could be why you're trying to now take a little bit of a step back and reassess and get things in order. I think it's going to be time very soon to just get your life in order, get, you know, focus more on what is going to make you happy and make you feel satisfied Um and figure out whether or not a particular romantic connection, a love connection is actually fulfilling and what's going on there. It's, it's time, it's make or break time in the next few days, next few weeks. I think, I suspect someone around you potentially is wanting more of a commitment. You may not even realize that. You may not realize that, Gemini. But someone around you is, is wanting... Um, a higher level of commitment here with Hierophant energy, Taurus energy. This is someone who is a little bit more traditional maybe. They're a little bit more traditional than you. They want things to happen in a certain way, in a certain time frame. And you're going to have to take a step back and think about it. You are wrapped up in some kind of, of project. I feel like this person you're dealing with is maybe seeing you as someone who they want to build a future with they're seeing you as a partner that you know it, it would work well it would be a very good connection practically um, and so they're wanting that high level of commitment but you've got to take your time and, and think about it and think about how you're going to balance everything in your life including this person because like I said for some of you there's a sense of um, ending of cycles here it's like it's it's a make or break situation for this person Okay. High Priestess energy, Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. There are some things that need to come out here. There are some things that need to come out which are still below the surface. You're going to need your in, you, to use your intuition. Um, the person that you're dealing with is going to need to use their intuition. Um, but there are some hidden hidden feelings yet that haven't fully come to the surface or the forefront. Someone is very concerned about stability and this could even be, um, this could be you as well. You could be concerned about financial stability and that's why you're working very hard towards something. But some of you is working um, or is concerned very much about future stability, future direction. Again, strong earth energy here, there's Pisces, but there's also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Um, 
someone wants a big offer of commitment and I see that I see that coming I see that coming there's no doubt there's no doubt and it's going to make one or both of you quite happy um, it could be that you know again I'm seeing it more that this person that you're dealing with is more emotionally confused than you are, Gemini, because again, I, I see you very work, you know, working very hard towards something. So I feel as though this person may want some kind of offer from you. You may not even know this yet. You may not even know this. This is, this is interesting with, with these two cards here, because it's almost like both of you are holding back Pers your person's energy, they're holding back because they're a little bit more shy, insecure about something. They're worried about how opening up is going to affect their future stability. You're keeping quiet because you just don't want or really feel the need to reveal um, you know, deeper emotions at this point and you don't want to reveal it all. Um, but in any case, there's going to be some kind of offer coming in. For those of you who are concerned about finances, work, and you're waiting for some kind of offer, recognition, opportunity, um, bonus, something like that, that's going to come in. So finances are looking very good, very, very strong in terms of career. I think you guys have been working extremely hard towards something and it's, and it's paying off. So for those of you who are concerned about that, I, I wouldn't be. There's something big coming in. Um, and there's going to be a, some sort of a cause for a celebration. But it could come after a time of reflection, of really needing to think clearly about things and gain a new perspective here with the hangman. Let's see if there are any other cards of advice, any other messages, any affirmations, anything else that Gemini needs to hear, please. But something is really centering around this Ace of Pentacles, around this offer. Um, it has to be a genuine offer. It has to be something that's going to lead to, you know, long-term success, abundance, commitment. Um, this person doesn't want to accept anything less. And I feel like you don't want to accept anything less either. Got the um, hangman energy again and the magician. That's um, one of your cards, Gemini. So this is really all about manifesting. Someone is really, really thinking about what they want and even though that's come up on your side I feel like you I feel like you are thinking about what you want but it's also this person I feel like in some ways you do mirror each other a little bit you do mirror each other because you've got the hangman on each side so there's always sometimes a bit of a, a pulling back energy um, and trying to consider things from the other person's perspective there needs to be a bit of a more mutual understanding because I feel like the two of you may be thinking about things a little bit differently. And sometimes you're not always communicating those deeper emotions, those deeper feelings. Um, but now is the time to really think about um, and manifest what you want because there's some kind of solid offer coming in or that you're going to make. And it need, it's going to have long-term um, ramifications. Um, so you need to really think clearly about what it is that you want because you have the potential to manifest um, an amazing new beginning here. Hope you guys enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you all in the next video.